L key. Use the L key. Let's see. We can take blue monster at Doral here, which is overly bright and saturated at the moment. We bring down the saturation. We bring down the sunlight strength. Environment color. I like a little bit darker look here in the trees. Skybox brightness. And then personally, I like more shadows. So I change the time and weather to about 10 o'clock or so. And then I like a little bit more of a contrasty look. You may not. That may look a little dark, actually. Now it looks gorgeous. Use the L key. It will save your settings as long as the course is not updated. If the course gets updated, you're going to have to use L again to set up your display settings. You want to do this for every single course that you load up. Make it look the way you want to make it look. And here, a bonus tip. You've got sky changes here. If you want to play in a little bit of light rain, here in South Florida, you can do that. My kids, personally, love this. Okay, here's a couple other options that I hear a lot. Do we have any kids courses? And do we have any option to not have to putt? So I'm just going to pull up one of my courses here. And any options for Guinea, you can see this slash auto putt was added because people were missing this. And now auto putt fix and auto putt random. Uh, it's, it's, it's always been here. It's just that people had a hard time finding it. Auto putt fixed means you're gonna automatically make a putt from inside of 10 feet. Um, and then three putt, I believe, from uh, over 40 feet. Auto putt random is a calculated random number that is uh, supposed to mimic pretty close to a scratch golfer, although you'll get more one putts and more three putts just because that's a bit more fun. Um, use these auto, auto putt fix and auto putt random. The other question I hear a lot is, what about kids? Um, well, my kids want to play, you know, pretty much every course has junior tees. Um, I mentioned earlier the par three tees. Most courses have junior tees and par three tees. So uh, there, there are pretty much 100 plus courses now with junior tees on them. I try to make my par four somewhere in the 250 yard range par fives, 350, and the par threes, 100 or so in the end. I try not to force a carry over water, you know, wherever possible, but lots of tees to choose from. And obviously you can set one player to one tee and another player to his own tee. So yes, you can play the back tees while your son plays the 4,200 yard tees. It's a great feature. Probably the number one question I see asked nearly every day, do we have any par three courses? We have very few courses that are defined specifically as par threes. However, pretty much every course you go to the tees has a par three course. Therefore, you can turn any course into a par three course. Some are gonna be a little bit longer hole, some are gonna be shorter. You can see the yardage here, divide by 18, and you'll have an idea. Every course can be played as a par three course. All right, here's something I see a lot. I've hit my ball way left into the trees here at the first at Sage Valley. I'm looking around, and I could probably hit it out through a couple of these windows. If you hold your mouse cursor on the trees, you can see which one of these trees has an actual collider on them. This one has a collider, and you can see where it is. This one has a collider, and you can see where it ends. Well, there's a gap here. I could go backwards. Or I could, you know, try to shoot it through the middle of here and hope for the best. I don't see a collider. However, I propose using the sim drop, especially on courses that are ex uh, extremely heavy with trees. This one I could probably get out of and it would cost me a shot. However, if you click up here and click the ball, click sim drop, and you can just drop your ball in the middle of the fairway and accept. Oh, I didn't do it.
you just click this ball here, you click sim drop, you drop the ball out in the middle of the fairway, and you hit accept. And now you're not risking trying to hit it through the trees. Now it did cost you a shot, but that would have been the shot that you would have been hitting it out of the trees. So now at least you know you're in the fairway and safe. I highly recommend using the sim drop. There's another question I see asked all the time. Is there a place I can go work on my game? I can go practice. On course practice is where you want to go. You can go to any course in your library. And you just pick one. Take a ball and put it anywhere you want and hit shots from there. If you're struggling with your putting, go find a green. Repeatedly hit putts. Um, this can really help with, as an example, you know, if you're having a hard time reading greens. So let's, let's drop a ball and you can click on the ball icon up here. You need to click on the menu map or you can click in game and it transports you to wherever you put. So if you want to work on your putting, here's a pretty straight, flat putt that's, uh, you know, 37 feet. You can get some putts. I'm just using the mouse here, but you get the point. You can do this on any hole. So you want to go to Augusta and just hit shots on, a, on the par three. This would be a great place for like a, uh, let's say you have a bunch of friends over, as an example. You click this and you can actually jump to a hole. So let's say you just want to test out a par three. Here's a par three. You just want to continuously hit shots here with some friends and uh, do like a closest to the pin contest. This would be a great way to do it. Stand here, you hit your shot. Not a great shot. You're 21.7 yards away. Now you need to be able to see that, right? So you click, and here's the distance to pin number, 21.7. So you can sit here and just hit shots until someone's got the closest shot, obviously, by tracking it this way. Just maybe have to track it uh, somewhere else. That was 25.2. You get the point. So you can do this on any hole, anywhere, um, that you can download uh, any other courses that you have. Here's a little bit of a bonus tip. If you're uh, tired of the standard stock driving range, one thing you can do is go to on course practice and let's say you want to use the driving range at Eastlake. You can do that. Now not every course is going to have a driving range built into the design. However, a number of them do. You just have to find it. So basically you can, F, if you click F5, you can kind of fly around real quick. But if you take a look here, this is the actual driving range at Eastlake. You hit it over the water, which I thought was kind of fascinating as you get lots of balls into the water. However, I'll now hit F5 again. I'm gonna take the ball icon and I'm gonna click down here and try to get as close as I can. I have to click it again. Okay, now we're on the putting green, so we can hit putts on the putting green. Now I'm gonna click again on the actual driving range and just turn myself around. And there I am, I'm on the range. Now, people started using this, I bet you that the designers would put, would make this look a little prettier. Um, but just as an example, here's the range. Now, a couple things. The nice thing is the ball will stay uh, where you've aimed in the past, but you will see the yardages from the first hole. So you're a 904 yards from the first hole. However, obviously you just click on the stats up here and you can see how far you've been in game and you can hit shots just like you're playing Eastlake uh, in the afternoon, you're on the range in the morning. Just a cool little bonus tip.